You yeah. probably should finish. You should actually give up golf right now. <laughs> this is it. It's not going to actually get any better than this very hole. All right, so we're on the tee box. We're going to play a little bit of golf. Yes. So there's two things now we're out here. Yeah. You've got to have a good routine. Yeah, okay. something I don't have. Well, all a good routine is tee the ball up, take a second to stand back, whatever it is. You could be taking practice things, whatever you want to do, okay? But the minute you go forward again, you have to have made your mind up and you're not allowed to change your mind. So no matter what you make your mind up to do, I would like you to pick one thing only and I'd like you to stick with it forever. When you want to get good at the game, you, you do the one thing every shot forever. And that's what's, that's what's handling pressure, it's familiarity. It's nothing more than familiar. You got here, it's a par five. First of all, you've got to recognize it's par five. Can you reach it in two? This What's is 600 yards, so no. no, and it's soft. But if you can reach it in two, go for it. So there might be a, you might be better off taking something on if you can reach it in two yeah. and, and getting it down there. And we're gonna talk about that in the next hole where there's water. Here, we can't get in two. So the biggest mistake we can make here, you're not trying to hit the fairway per se. We don't wanna go out of bounds. Left. Left, yeah. So your fairway here, the tree's right is not the worst thing in the world. So your fairway is the right half of the fairway. Yeah. So if you hit it in the right roof, we're not in the end of the world, but we're going the right half of the fairway because we don't want to go left. Now, right half of the fairway, your thought is release the club. Okay. Release the club. Yeah, one thought. Yeah. Oh, release the Lovely that. setup. Huh? Lovely setup. Was it? Oh yeah, great. You, you're over released it, but that's fine for the yeah, moment. Yeah, I did like flip we, it. We want to see that. But let's let's go with a mulligan. By the way, breakfast ball. This is the next way you practice. Okay, you have to go out on your own on the golf course and play and keep experimenting. So you, to do that, you've got to play on your own late in the evening and play two, three shots. So you overdid that one. Let's yeah. adjust. So when I'm hitting that ball, the club is like this, is it? That's what you're thinking it is. It's pretty, it's, it's okay. You've just got a little pull on top. Your draw is fine. You're just pulling them. Yeah. Okay. Do we like that shot? No. Like, yeah, like it went nowhere. Well, it's effective, but we yeah. don't want, you, that was the pull with a cut. Yeah. The others were the pull with a draw. I've got to get, it seems like you're hitting my golf balls. So I've got to go get more. <laughs> Sorry. So this is tight for me, so I'm going to have to do the same as you. I have to go down that right side. What a shot. See how easy I hit that? Not. <laughs> but, but that's golf. You've got to smash yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, we set off the tee and it's pretty much the same with the second shot. Your goal is to miss the big trouble. So miss out of bounds, to miss a hazard. It's not to hit the fairway. Because that rough, if you were over there in the rough, it wouldn't be a huge big difference to this. Yeah. So the goal for you, you're not playing golf courses with heavy rough. So the goal is to miss the big trouble. So you need to have a, a, not a fairway finder, but a general direction shot. So I'm going down here, it's going to miss on the right half of the fairway or in the fairway. Right, we're on the fairway. Same thing with the second shot. All you're thinking about here, it's going to take me at least two shots to get to the green. I want to be around that green in three shots. If you did that, if you hit 18 holes and you got around the greens in regulation, because we have a great short game now, you'll chip and put nine of them, you'll be a single figure golfer. Yeah. Okay, so we're just trying to get around the green. So, so I'd hit your favorite club here, which is probably going to be something with a bit of loft, like a five wood. A five wood? Yeah, five wood's easy to hit. Easier yeah. to hit than a three or four yard, and easier to hit the three wood. Oh, beautiful. That is just a stunning strike. I know you, today mm. it's gone in the left trees, you're not going to be so happy about, but that's how you want to hit a golf ball. Yeah, golf I kind shot. of overcompensated thinking I was going to like slice that. But you'll get used a lot to more. that. Yeah. When, you, when it starts doing that, you'll go, I'm not going to slice this. And look at your divot. Beautiful. Yeah. That is, a divot's meant to be like a $1 note. The seventh hole here has a lake in front, river, yeah. river Liffey in front of it. 
So people lay up and they lay up 140 yards back. Okay? And that's a tough shot for most people. And then they hit it in the water. Then yeah, they pitch it yeah, on. It takes yeah. seven or eight by laying up. Right? Yeah. I want you to lay up on that hole, but I tell you, lay up 60 yards short. And you go, well, I might hit it in the water. Well, if you hit it in the water there, right, and you drop out, it's a one-shot penalty. If you lay up and hit it in the water, it, it ends up being a two-shot yeah, yeah, penalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes you have to be aggressive because you don't want the next shot. It's always the next, the next shot. shot yeah. You've got to make the next shot playable and is relatively easy depending on what trouble is there. Well, the ball always goes the opposite direction to where the mud is. If there's mud in the ball. Always? Yeah, so if there's mud on the left, it will go to the right. That's me, I was thinking. It's a bit of a wide. But it was a nice hit. Picked yeah. it off the turf. No problem with that. So, in trouble with trees, is it just a case of the old adage, take your medicine? No! I actually would go for the flag because I have to. I can make par from here. Here, here, here. There it is, around that tree. <laughs> and maybe, maybe, do you want to get up on my shoulder and you can see it over the mountains? <laughs> Okay, Yeah. so 7-iron is a good club, so it's just a chip shot with a 7-iron. Yeah, very good. The one big thing you've got to do when you're chipping out of the trees is get a feel for the shot you're going to hit. So really mimic the distance you're going to... Yeah, so you, once you feel confident, get in and hit. Ah, what am I doing there? I do that a lot in the so rough. That, so that was basically, you're meant to chip it. So you're, you're meant to get on your left side and drive it out. Oh, I was like this, yeah. Yeah, you're trying to get it up in the air. But your golden rule was to get past that last tree. Which I and did. And you did. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's as good as a good shot. It was a pretty crappy shot. Is it, is it, did I top that? You tinned it. Yeah. So, so we wanted to hit down on this. Oh, yeah. Same shot. So like a chip shot. Go on, practice it first. Yeah, chip shot. There you go. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Perfect. Same shot. Beautiful. Oh, there you are, yeah. yeah landed perfect. So you, your visual is good. I think that's because you play a little bit down in, uh, I think uh, Mullingar has a few shots like that, doesn't it? Uh, it does, yeah. Like, so, well, and you have a lot of trees, so you'd be hitting out like that That's a lot. what I mean. You, yeah. Because of your course, you have experience. Oh, that's a golf shot. So that's gone in the left-hand bunker, I'd say. Yeah. Which is perfectly fine for me. I'd get that up and down. And can I ask you, if I was back there hitting that shot, yeah. for a player of my ability, yeah. do I pin seek or do I green seek? That pitch. So what do we do? We lean left and we... It's harder to smack the grass on the golf course, isn't it? If the ground so is fair, you know, a lot of... When it gets to the summer, that's beautiful. When it gets to the summer, you'll be able to do it. It's hard to do it today. Like, we're doing it today as... That yeah. was perfect. If you could do that, you're, you're golden. You're too good now. Yeah, I just... <laughs> but you, you, you do realise yeah, that was yeah. too good. You're, you're now... You, you nearly... Like, you have, you have two choices here. Either you play a square shot. So, so we don't go for the cut-up, we go for just a neutral shot. Yeah, or else you it. hit it harder. I'd probably go for a square shot from this range. You, you're, you're close to... You're 45 yards here. Yeah, geez, you wouldn't think... Yeah, that's another this, thing. Yeah. You're going to have to learn your yardages. Beautiful. See how good it is? Oh, yeah, it just needed that little bit more, yeah. Yeah, but your strike is good now. And not here. change your mind. Okay. Yeah, it's more that kind of like when people say you're trying to adopt something new, exaggerate it or... Oh, yeah, you have to. Well, that's why yeah. we've got you hitting a hook. Yeah. We're trying to exaggerate. I genuinely, my, my drive is usually it's a slice. I know. Off to the right, yeah. The side slope is the one for you. That's really, really cheered you up no end, hasn't it? So we're going to play it at 400 yards. Okay. Now, if your goal was to hit the fairway, that water's a little exaggerated, it's probably, you'd aim out to those bunkers and lay up shortly, right? That yeah. was your goal. So you'd be hitting your five wood up there, three wood out towards those bunkers. That would leave you about 210 yards to a green with water on the edge of the green. That is not a golf shot you want. No, no, no. That, yeah. So you'd, you have to you'd, lay up. you'd hit a good tee shot and it would only put you in trouble. Yeah. So what we're going to do is, we're, this is strategy, and you're going to have to figure this out. We're going to be aggressive off the tee, that if we hit a good tee shot, 
we now have an eight or nine iron and we're happy to hit eight or nine iron at the green. Yeah. Okay. If we hit a bad tee shot, we're going to hit here. Lay up short. Short of this water. This water is a little further up. Yeah. And that would be, if we hit here, we'd have to lay up here anyway. I get what you mean. So you're, it's obviously, think about the next shot. Think about the next shot. Yeah. Be aggressive on this tee shot. And if it works, our next shot is very playable. Beautiful. I was, yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> well, you're never going to hit it. Look, it ain't going to get any better than that. Yeah, that, that well, was maybe, a great maybe, shot. Maybe, we, maybe if you do some speed work. I'm starting to get this golf thing. Yeah, that was perfect. You're, you're all chirpy. I'm actually going to go with the green. It's too cold though for If you don't get it past me. If I don't get it past you, okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not. 100 euros? Okay, I don't mind. Now I'm not putting any wager on this. It's not yeah, like no, I don't mind. I, there's no scenario that I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm going at the green. This would be I'll a major, trees, a major though. win for me if this came through. But yeah. <laughs> That's a god shot. <laughs> you'd pay, you'd pay just tens and tens of thousands for this information of this man. It's unbelievable. This has been probably one of the best golf days I've ever had in my life. Like, the, just the tips I'm getting here. What did they say you had 195 back there? 195, yeah. You've, you've 150. 150. 150 downhill. Pit. Yeah. Like Now, right, where's our big trouble? On the left. In the lake. So right. we're going to try and hit the right edge of the green. Right. We're not doing anything more than that. And in terms of a shot that I would hit, obviously I'm not going to hit a 150 shot here as it's yeah. downhill. Uh, you're into the wind, so probably the two would negate. All right. So yeah, it, downhill takes a little off. The greens are soft. You have a coldish breeze. I know it's sunny. You're coming back into us. So, so I'll hit me eight. I'd hit. I think you have a lot of club in your eight, but yeah, let's hit your eight. No, I would hit my. I could hit my nine like a 135, 140 shot. Well, we're going 150 here. To be honest, long wouldn't be the end of the world. Remember, if this was summertime. Right mightn't be very good, the green could be firm and fast. Okay, so you have to understand that. So I go yeah. an eight, and let's do a Tommy Fleetwood finish. All right, yeah, oh, perfect, all right, yeah, no, I like that. There was a certain element <laughs> of excitement in that. So I, to, <laughs> I actually hit these well out in the range. Yes, <clears throat> so I want a Tommy Fleetwood, so try and stop at impact, finish. Right, let me just okay. hide this up. Remember, you have a hanging lie here, so this is the same so thing on the range, so this will naturally draw. Yeah. You don't need to make the effort to draw this, okay? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hang on a second here. <laughs> I think we've nailed this golf thing. He's, he folded it. Oh my God. No. Oh, it's sitting, at, it's, is it a foot short? Oh my God. The old Tommy Fleetwood. Do I think you were Tommy Fleetwood? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm giving Tommy the credit, but that, that, you're going to hit a lot of iron shots like that. Okay? Yeah, there's, there's now, a lot more control off that. Side slope helped you, because yeah. you didn't have to try and draw it. That's why we practice off a of side slope, it naturally draws. Yeah. That ball is literally about a foot from the pin. Yeah, but, but it was a nice golf shot. You didn't get lucky. You hit a great tee shot. Huh? 100 yards. And, and you really think I could hit the ball like 280, 290? No problem. Already you have 106 mile an hour club head speed. So that equates to about 100 and, that's 159 ball speed if it's a center hit. So that's easily, that's Jimenez. That's what ball speed he is on tour. And he's hitting lots of drives over. You know, on, on fair and fairways, lots of drives over. Like he's pitching at 280 in nice weather. Look, I'm not thinking. Right. Ah. I've got to beat you on this hole. A little short. <laughs> right, so I could actually beat Podrick Harrington here. Yep. That is golf. Just get this on camera. It, on this hole, the second hole in the K Club, it looks like Paddy Harrington has taken an L. And Conor Moore is taking the W. No, I've missed putts from a foot before, but... But that is what golf is about. <laughs> For one moment in time, you're a better player than me. For one moment. Have we got that on camera? <laughs> but it is golf. 
but that's the beauty of it. You can have a hole in one. I could hit a thousand shots and not get a hole in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the beauty of golf. That's why people are obsessed with it. That's why people play it. You and probably should finish. You should actually give up golf right now. <laughs> this is it. It's not going to actually get any better than this very hole. I don't you know. I reckon I'd beat you on the next hole as well. Yeah, and there was no, there was no second takes. Nothing. No, that was it. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm not a foot from the hole. Oh, I'm actually about four feet. All right. So oh, it, oh, it's not, it's not, not over. A longer. It's not over yet. It's gotten a little longer. <laughs> it's not over yet. No. So do you, are you going to help me out on this putter? I'm going to see what you think, what you're going to do on it. Power expo. Connor's ball. You got it. So are you going first? Uh... I am going first and I can see how dark this is. So I, I know I'm uphill. You, yeah. you looking back at me, it's very pale. Yeah, yeah. It? Got a lovely row, went a little high. Oh no. It's not a gimme. Oh, sugar. There's a bit of meat left on that bone. Um. So you, you, you know the color is going that way. Yeah. So that means it's downhill that way. Yeah. You know that. Like, sorry, about a ball to the right. At least. At least. Yeah. I think ball to the right? Yeah, a clean ball. Yeah. So I, I would, when I say clean ball, I think if that was your, if that was your line, I think you're good. Yeah. That is my line. That's exactly how that's lined okay. up as well. All right, this for birdie. This is, this is. To embarrass Paul and Harrington. No. <laughs> This oh no, this is to vindicate him. Yeah, I'm a winner either way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, didn't did hit it. it. <sighs> I'll take the car. So, killer. So, so I was, was in, in for a four. four. Yeah. Padre has this to tie, tie the hole. hole. Save his blushes. The, the one thing, thing I would say is, I never, never don't, don't try. So I am, um, as, as much as it would be nice for you to beat me, you, if you beat me, you beat me fair and square. And your one swing thought here is target. Target. Mine went dead straight down the hill. Just beat Podge hanging in the hole. Cheers. The student uh, top of the, the master. <laughs> well, I, I should, I should, should be vindicated. I, 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 I create a monster. Apparently, <laughs> 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 uh, 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 nice to do it with Doctor Frankenstein. Yes. So overall, where do you think my game is at? And do you think I can get the oh, same figures you, you, by you, the end if, of the year? If you're not a, if you're not a f like a five handicapper. It's because, if you're not a five handicapper, it's because we need to do a little bit more. You're comfortable, you're already, you're way past single, you're way past, you're easiest single figure golfer now, right now. Those two shots there, I know, it's not that you finished three feet from the hole, it's the quality of the shots. Yeah. Okay, and there's lots of that in you. You, you can chip, you hit, you, 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 everything about you. you I, I'm delighted, you don't have, like, I could have you here, you'd be 14, how do I get you single figures? And like, you have putting yips or you have something wrong with your eyes, eyes that you can't see and, and, and you have to deal with that yeah and that's a lot harder but there's nothing you we encounter today your only problem is experience and that's it and the way you gain experience is playing on your own nine holes in the evening time or early morning and 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 just playing two and three shots and realizing no that wasn't a bad stroke it was a bad line yeah and then and then playing a little bit with your mates gambling wise, having a bit of hustle and bustle and, and fun. That's yeah. how you will get, that will do it. You, you have all the technical ability to do it. You now just have to go out there on the golf course, a little bit on your own, learn what, how far is 30 yards, 40 yards, 50 yards? Yeah, So and sure, even on the first hole there, when we were 45 yards away, in my head, I would look at that and go, it's about 20. I, you know, you're gonna to have to figure that out. You're yeah, gonna to have to make, like, that, that can happen to everybody who gets, yeah. That's just I, when I'm close. I think it's a lot closer yeah, than what yeah, it really you, you, is. You're going to have to learn that, and and like back in the day, you would walk half the distance up generally, and then eyeball it. Yeah. 
nowadays you can just take a laser out. But you need to know what the carry over the trouble is and what it is to the pin. Those are the two, you're always more than two yard, yardages. Yeah. Okay. Is, is that us done? I today? think we're going to leave you with that. I think you've got, a, you got, you've got an overload of information, but you are in good place. Honestly, if you, if, if, if you do not get to single figures quickly in the next month, so if, if you do a month of bit of work and then you start playing some competitions, in two months' time, you'll be comfortably hustling people off. Well, I will definitely keep you yeah. posted on what's happening. Yeah. Um, this has been the most incredible golf day I've ever <laughs> had in my life. Genuinely, to come down here and get like tips off someone like Podrick Harrington is like the stuff dreams are made of. People ask me, what's the best part of the job? It stays like this. Uh, not just an Irish sporting legend, but just a legend all around. Thanks a million for doing this. And please do check out Paddy's Golf Tips on YouTube. Paddy, I've really thank you enjoyed so, it. so much. Absolutely. You know what? There's nothing better. And this is a great thing again about golf. Your enthusiasm and enjoyment with that. Like you just hit a shot there to four feet. And that's one of the highlights of your life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it, the game is unbelievable. And it keeps giving things like that. And yeah. it will do the opposite some days. You're going, oh, to come, know, you're yeah, going to come yeah. down here and you're, you're going to be playing somebody for in a match and, you, and you're going to hit it in the water and you're going to want it. Yeah. But that's the beauty of the game. Look, yeah. we, we love it. I'm delighted that I can be of a help. And uh, as I said, hopefully some of your followers will look at this and go, hey, you know what? I'm going to have a go with this game, golf. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's obsessive yeah. once you get there. Yeah. And if you do, again, Paddy's Golf Tips, that's where you'll get better. Yeah. Cheers. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you.